Hi, everybody. This is a uh, rudder construction video number three. Here I'm doing, uh, before we uh, get back to the rudder, I'm doing a little cute thing for the back of the vertical stabilizer. That was our tail number that I've got reserved. So, yeah, so in the last video, you saw the mock-up of the rudder with all the stiffeners, cross braces, and the skins. And I did all the match and final drilling. <coughs> this video will be the beginning, uh, doing final skin prep, priming, and dimpling. Now... Uh, what you'll see me wiping the metal down with, it, originally I had been using acetone to uh, clean all of the aluminum skins. Uh, problem is acetone uh, will leave a slight residue and it does take longer to dry off. I have since switched to isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Dries faster, leaves no residue. So here we go. This is the deburring of the skins. Now the skins are very thin. I can't remember if it's sixteen thousandths or twenty-five thousandths. No, I think it's sixteen thousandths. Very, it's very light. Uh, you want to keep your rudder weight rudder weight down. That's as far away from the from the uh, spinner in the front as you can possibly get. I had always wondered why some planes always had you know fabric rudders, save weight. Anyway. Because it's thin, uh, Vans warns against being very careful when you're cleaning. You do not want to over uh, deburr the holes and wind up enlarging the holes for the skin rivets. So I would usually just use one turn. Big pieces of metal or anything that's uh, 24 thousandths or bigger, I would usually use two turns of my deburr tool. For this one, I only used one. Each skin has 283 holes. I counted them. So for each one, you have to clean both sides. Uh, now, I'm not even counting the ones that you have to match drill. You don't have to ma they don't ask you to match drill any of the ones for the stiffeners. <coughs> um, I mean, you do have to match drill and final drill the ones for the different ribs, bottom rib, top. But for the stiffeners, they you don't have to do any final drilling, which which is nice. But you still have to go and you have to deburb the holes both sides, and then you need to go and dimple, and then rivet. So it's over, I don't know, twelve. It's it's roughly you know it's it's over a thousand actions per skin. Just, just to deal with the river holes. So I'm doing a little scuffing here, <coughs> pre-priming, just scuffing the areas that are going to be riveted. Helps the primer adhere to the metal. I'm actually in the middle of building the side tables for the DRDD2 dimpler that you see me using here so that the skins can lay flat. Regardless, this tool is amazing. There's a few holes that they don't want you to dimple. Uh, you, uh, they're the ones at the top that deal with the uh, rudder fairing. <coughs> and there's, I don't think there's any at it's only at the top that you don't have to dimple. Uh, it's only the number 40 that we're dimpling anyway. So you don't dimple the one. So in the front, the skins roll to create a leading edge. Uh, you do not dimple those. Uh, but the rest of the number 40s you do. I think those are, uh, those are number 30s anyway. So anyway... Uh, yeah, uh, the next video will be a continuation of the skin prep. So, see you.